Hello everybody, Cyanesk111 here, and welcome back to more Bingle Bingle. Um, first off, before we get into the game for this part, I do want to let you know that I have learned just now about the spin and score speeds that you can adjust. You can set them to higher values to make them go faster, or lower values to make them go slower. I did not know that until now, so jokes on me for begging for there to be a fast forward button once again. Um, tech it up. I still have yet to beat this game with the Archer class, but I think I'm comfortable enough to try House Edge with it again. I say again, even though I've played House Edge with the uh, with the Trickster class. But let's go ahead and turn this sucker on once again. I don't know if I've seen the target score getting increased and the additional coin every round, but this effect stacks upon reaching house edge 100% and 200%, but it's at 10% right now. And also, for the five pockets part, I think I may need to purchase as many pockets with the same number as I can for it to have any of an effect so I can adequately show you. Okay, what do I want? Rush up, rushed upgrade, loan, or random box? I think I'm gonna get the loan for right now, and... Whatever Super Pocket is in the shop, I'll have to get it. And provided that I have enough money left over, I'm gonna get as many useful items as I humanly possibly can. And despite me setting the speed of the spin and scoring faster, the round clear is still lagging a bit, but that's not really a big concern of mine right now. What is a concern of mine is trying to... I want to say at least reach the final round, but I kind of feel like winning looking at things now. What looks good? Maybe this. Fourteens. And four of them. Two of them next to each other. That's good. Now, uh... I could try for a multi-ball synergy. Or maybe... I could buy some mirror bets to see how different they are in this build compared to the previous one. I think that for now I'll get the multi-ball and place it here. They're each worth five points, but with this upgrade they will be worth seven. And I'll upgrade this one too, just for you know what's and giggles. That pink chipmunk from Happy Tree Friends. Ever heard of her? I just wanted to throw it in there to see if anybody would get a reaction, in all honesty. Aw, oh, why did you land in black? That's not going to do much for my score. Loan only applies in the first round, so it's not going to be possible for me to continue with it in the next shop I come across. But I still won the red bet, but I'm still 100 short. This next spin will definitely fix things, especially given that it's on an, especially given that it's been upgraded, and worth 15 points for the ball. Okay, none of the scores I got would beat this round the first time, but I'll take what I can get. Uh. I don't know if the previous shop had favorite pocket, or favorite number, or whatever it's called. Bag of balls. Gain eight points for each different ball in the deck. I could take that, a double flash, even though I don't have enough money to buy either of them. Or this normal item box. I just hope whatever's in there is helpful. Felix 7, hold my ball, 
I have seen this in the previous shop, and I'm kind of lucky to encounter it here because of the multi-ball I have attached to one of my tokens. I think I'm going to get even odd for now and place it here. Okay, multi-ball no longer makes the token fragile. That is good. May have to use some of my discards here, contrary to... Oh, so Archer gives coins per unused round tokens. I'm learning. It's been a while since I've played as the Archer class, and... I gotta play it more often if I want to have a better understanding of what I need to do with it, you know? <sighs> These two balls came very close to landing in the same pocket. I would have satisfied the conditions for hold my ball. At least I'm definitely moving on from this round. With 770 points. Okay, let's see what you got this time. Felix 7 again. Okay, I'm hoping for another 14, or better yet, a red 14. Like this one. Place it here. Flash column. What column is the 14 on? Okay, it's in the second column. So the second column would be my best bet for placing a column bet. It's definitely all I can do here. What's this going to be? Freeze three random pockets after using a token, that is okay. Let's see what I can do to work my way around it. Okay, so, uh... No, not there. Even odd, flash column. I'm looking for the flash column. The token it's attached to. There you are. So I don't know. It's a bit confusing how many of these to of these pockets with the bets I've placed are frozen. But here's hoping that all I've Oh dear. Well it hit the flash column bet, but neither of the red bets. Okay, so Archer's ability enables me to see that it is going to land in a red pocket, which is good for my cause. But is it good enough? Yep, that's going to equal 500, getting me over the limit, and therefore winning me the round. Okay, permafrost, token burner, discard pack. I think I'm going to get the token burner and remove this one. Less tokens I have, I believe the better. Monochrome, Fragile Legacy, Round Robin. I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and take the Round Robin since I believe myself to be more confident in using less discards because of me removing one token from my deck. Pioneer I will definitely take because I always got a bet before rolling my balls. Don't take that out of context, please. Okay, plus 40 base chips. That is always good to see. Definitely gonna have to place some more bets down than that. Okay, even because of all the 14s I've placed down on the wheel now. Okay, there's a flash column. Hoping to see those multi balls again so I can roll them. That's a normal ball. 
There it is. And I have to use all my discards for that too? Oh my goodness. Wow. Looks like I'm gonna have to upgrade the token it's attached to. Okay, this is shaping up to be a promising score. Or more than promising. I will take that too. There's another flash column there. Do I want it, is the question. I know that I already have one, but it wouldn't hurt to have another one in case. I need to build my score up some more. Uh, the commons... I'm going to avoid because of the 14s. Uh, yeah. I think Flash Column is going to be my move here. Aside from upgrading this. That's it, I'll do. Target score this time is 3,000. Red, even. Okay, this is a color. I've already placed one on red. Alright, multi balls. I'm looking for you now. There you are. Ready and willing. Well, I know one of you landed in 14, which is okay. Okay, I think that's over halfway so far. Now it's past the limit. Total annihilation of this round. Thank you very much. Okay, ten coins. Hey, multiball. How about you come with me? And you'll be right here. There's a dozen flash bet and a street flash bet. Problem is, I don't have enough. I don't have the roulette wheel layout necessary to place either of these bets and get them a good chance of winning, but maybe the dozen? I'll lock the shop and think about it while I progress through this next round. balls down. Okay, one of you landed in 14, and that is okay. I think 8 is in the second column. It is. That's a relief. Alright, two balls and I pass the limit. Round clear indeed. And, uh... Do I take this flash dozen now? Yes, I do. The question on my mind has been answered. I'm gonna upgrade it just as a little safeguard. Definitely gonna be getting something different next time the shop is, is approached. Okay, 10 pockets with the second, no wait. 16 pockets with the second dozen. Fine by me. Gonna place an even odd bet down now. And throw the multi ball. Okay, so that is a second column, is it? Or no, wait, a second dozen. What am I thinking? Okay, well this ball did not win any of the bets I placed down, so 
It's looking obvious that I'm gonna have to place some more of these down. If I want a chance at succeeding. And now's the time I'm gonna have to use some of my discards to get the kind of scores I want. I do know that I want one of my multiballs to land in the pockets that I have placed my bets on. This is definitely not in the second column. Okay, this is a multi-ball, this is in the second dozen, and it's even... Well, I only live once, so... Here's hoping this can get me there. Fifty-five hundred is a long climb from where I need to be. Uh... After bet place... Oh, crap. I was not keeping track. Damn. I don't remember the scores being that high before enabling House Edge. If this is at 10%, then... I can only just imagine what the higher percents are going to be like. But yeah, here we go again. I'm going to get the search party to begin with and hope for a do a barrel reroll. Just has to be present. Also, I definitely shouldn't have placed that bet down, and I would have an extra coin with me. What was I thinking? <sighs> Bailout sure is tempting, as is most often the case. Uh... Yeah, I'm doing it. I just want to get as far as I can with the archer. Oh! There was do a barrel reroll, but I rerolled the shop and I didn't even have enough coins anyway. It did not appear again. <sighs> well, I don't think there is anything here that I would want for my run, so moving on. Okay, that's 300 points right there, and I'm really going to need to step up my game. Ah, uh, you landed in a black pocket. <sighs> At least this ball's going to give me the win no matter what. Now you land in a red pocket. That is the way. Gave me 700 points total. Should I maybe go for a wave ball build? Okay, this only increases by two points for right now. It's only worth one, but... I could make it a little more powerful in the early run. Maybe I can get this high-low bet to boot. Just so I can have a little something more to work with. Replacing it on low. It's red and low. That is what I like to see. I hope I can get Wave Ball and make it a little more powerful, given that I had just bought it. Ah, at least he landed in on low. Not, not nearly enough. But this next ball is going to give me the win no matter what, even if it lands in a black pocket and the numbers are high. And the number is high. I meant... 
There. Didn't even need Baylap to activate. But I only got nine token. But I only got nine coins to spend, so gotta spend them wisely. Um. I could upgrade this again. And I'm going to. Longer Echo. Useful if I want to build an Echo build. There's Duo Barrel reroll once again. I'm going to lock the shop for that and hopefully get past this boss, which will shuffle my tokens every time I use a discard. I'm hoping it doesn't do me too badly. Red and 12. Okay, just need 300 points and I'll be set. Okay, well it is red at least. And that gets me the win. Surprise, surprise. I'm gonna get money dispenser. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do investment this time. Assuming that I have coins left over in the shop, I should complete this quest rather okay. Uh... Golden Dozen? Well, if it's for the quest, I mean, it's for the quest. Have to see where I can go with that, and I'll reroll the shop for do a barrel reroll to have an effect. And not a coin was spared. Golden dozen means that I forfeit the opportunity for wave ball to increase its value. Drat. I'll stick it on the first dozen. I'll stick this bet on low. And roll the ball now. Okay, it's not in the first dozen. It is a low number though, so not all bad. Gonna need to... Find an upgraded ball like this. <sighs> Roulette wheel. Why you don't give me what I want. Okay, clearly I'm going to have to discard because of it being black. This is high... This is high and black. Okay, a one is pretty much as low as I can get, so... It's gotta have an effect. It's gotta have that much of an effect if I wanna win. Uh, okay, I have bailout. Oh, I forgot about that. Although, I don't think the tokens I've accumulated from Bailout are going to count towards the Archer ability. <sighs> if I didn't have Bailout and I saw that score, I would have been a little upset. Wave Bet. Wave Ball also increases chips of Bet at 1 permanently. Uh, 
I'll go ahead and get that. Because I haven't used my wave ball all that often. I'll give it a little upgrade out of pity. I think the strategy I'm gonna use is save the golden bet for when I... I still don't have any accumulated coins. Uh, I think I should save the golden bet for when I really need coins. Use it only in case of an emergency. If there's something in the shop that I wouldn't be able to afford otherwise. use my bailout. No, I, I, I can't risk it. I've got to get some pretty good balls on me. And you're back. Okay, you're low. That is fine by me. What's not fine is how far away I am from the target score. The list ball is worth 15 points, but I doubt it's going to get me to where I need to be. Well, I can't say I didn't try, especially with House Edge enabled. I may need to think about turning it off once again to make the game a little easier for me. But I don't think I want to give up that easily just yet. There's still a lot more builds and bets I need to experiment with, and I will definitely be doing so in the coming parts. Especially as updates come to this game, given that it is still in early access as of recording. But I am going to go ahead and take a break for right now, so until I'm ready to try again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!